Oh, oh, hey, am I on? Am I on? You're live, uh, you're live. I, you know, okay. All right, I, I, I was in the zone, I was trying to get my paint on, and I don't know, I'm not doing too hot so far. I, I was doing okay, and so I, tr I tried making my wine glass that looks like a clay chalice now. <laughs> Dang it, I was doing so well till we got to that part, Emily. Uh, whatever, I'm doing my best. So I'm here with Emily Becerra, she's an art instructor here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. Mm -hmm. Um, these are wine inspired pieces. This is your piece right here, which I, you know, this is actually very hard to do, uh, especially making the glass look transparent. Yeah, that's yeah. the kind of the hardest part, but you're yeah. getting there. I'm trying. Well, let's, let's tell our viewers why we're hanging out this morning, making wine inspired, sure. uh, art choices. We're not winos. We're, we're having some fun. What's, what's the big event going on this Saturday night? Um, well, we have winescapes, um, on Thursday night and then, uh, all of the money um, through all the auctions, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be having some items up for bid, wine and original art too. So all these, all these behind us right here, these will be items that'll yeah. be up. Okay. These are going to be up for auction, and then all of the money we will get from the auction will go straight to art education. No, so talk about the art education here. Um, uh, you, do you do part of the after school type programs? Do they come here too? Uh, what does that all consist of? Um, both actually. Um, we have programs on site. We have a program for. Um, young preschoolers and their parents side by side. We also do Art Smart, where we go to schools to teach after school program, cool. and um, a couple other programs. So we're going to the schools and we're having classes here too. Now, now, if I were one of your students right now, you've been just kind of like you know letting me do freehand whatever I want to do. Uh, how would you kind of encourage me? What kind of tips would you give someone like me who has really no art skills whatsoever? Well, always um, positive enforcement. You're doing a great job. <laughs> okay, um, it does look really great and really art. Um, especially working with kids, it's all about letting them just explore the art materials is the best part. And that's cool. what you're doing here today. Awesome. Uh, how, much, how, much, how much money did you uh, fundraise last year? Do you have any goals this year? What are you guys' uh, expectations? Um, I think that um, we're going to try to do um, 50000 this year. Wow. And I think that it's totally a realistic goal, too. Um, wow, so that's great. hopefully a lot of people are going to show up, and we have some beautiful art. And it all goes to such a great, um, you know, for, for a great cause, yeah. exactly. Well, if, if anyone's just interested in coming out, uh, again, it's for a great cause. We always want to encourage art uh, here in the community. You can go to bmoa.org slash winescapes if you're interested in purchase, purchasing tickets. It's $40 a person, $75 per couple. If you come on Thursday night from 6 to 9 p.m., it's $50 at the door, but you'll see uh, a plethora. A uh, whole smorgasbord, if you will, of wine-inspired art that you can purchase. You can also just make donations. You can sip on wine while you're looking at wine art and have a good time. And, and of course, hopefully, uh, help raise money to inspire ki local kids and and uh, and their education for for the local arts. So, guys, a great cause. If you get the chance, come on out Thursday night, six to nine p.m. Bakersfield Museum Art Museum of Art here in downtown Bakersfield. And I guarantee you that the art on the walls will look a lot better. And then this. <laughs> but if we lick the paintings, does it taste like wine? The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> that would actually be an even more of an incentive to right? come on out, wouldn't it? Kind of like a but I'm not sniff? sure that I'm not sure that technology exists yet. We'll work on it. Josh, it's a great that's event. I'll work on that, that one. That is, that is, that's going to be our invention. Josh, great event for a date. If you have a uh, significant other, or if you're thinking about Absolutely. asking out, if you're thinking about asking out that special someone in your life who maybe you haven't had the courage to go up to just yet, it's a great event for a date, and I see you get a discount if you bring a date. Couples, you do, you do. You uh, if bucks. your date likes wine and she likes art, bada bing, bada boom. Yep. And she and she likes kids. If she likes kids, even a, a better excuse, come on out. Yeah. Just don't tell exactly. the date that you're going because it's cheaper. Exactly. That you're bringing her because Have her it's drive. Cheaper. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Cardinal rule broken right there. No. Yep. Don't be cheap. In fact, right. buy a painting. Come out, buy a painting in front of her. That'll impress her. There exactly, exactly. Then yep. some guys will go return it. Can I go yeah, hey, back like, like when she's painting, not watching? It's like 800 bucks. Yeah, right? <laughs> she's I, in the I like the art, but it was a break. All right, Josh, thanks so much. <laughs> right. Joshua. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Wow. What do you think about this big wine bottle? bottle? Josh, you going to bring that back to the station for us? You big wino? You know what? Don't worry, I'm not a wino. This is actually my new piggy bank, okay? Okay. It's not, it wasn't full of wine. It's it's a perfectly good bank. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just thought it'd be a little silly this morning. But I, Winescapes is a, a great fundraiser they're holding here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. You get to uh, sip on some wine, look at wine-inspired art, and help kids in the process. Of the, all the donations go towards uh, education uh, for local kids and the uh, local arts. Now, there are wine-inspired projects. I'm here with Katie Wardell, who's part of the uh, BMOA Art Board. Uh, first 
first of all, what's one of the pieces you're holding here right here? This is one of my favorites. It's by our own curator, Vicki Cruz, wow. and it's delicious cheese. Is it common for a curator to be this talented themselves? I don't know. Wow. You know, I don't know. I guess I expect it because this is the only museum board I'm on, so I just ah. assume because <laughs> Vicki's very talented. It's so. very good. I got some, it looks like brie. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't know. It, it, it looks fantastic. But <laughs> we have some other pieces over here that are wine inspired. Yeah. Uh, wine inspired art. People can actually purchase uh, many of these right Thursday night oh, at yes. the fundraiser. Okay. Yes, they can. We'll have, I think, at least 12 artists on display that you can purchase a beautiful piece of artwork. Um, we have so many fabulous auction items and we have let's see our biggest so, some auction. raffle items as well we too right raffle items okay. i mean you can you can you can, if you leave without something in your hands it's your own fault <laughs> what are some of the raffle items that are that are up for bid because I've, I've heard there's uh one involving a flight or something oh, this or? Is our like our okay. primo wow um so it's, primo. it's a live auction item and you get a weekend a private jet for a weekend wow. to, to fly you to las vegas cool. and you get a two thousand dollar gift card to stay at one of the uh, mgm hotel so Bellagio any of no those kidding. I think there's 12 hotels you can choose from wow. so you get a weekend in Vegas which is really fabulous anything else that you want to highlight as far as raffle items go oh, or gosh, that's that's, that's the biggie right there that is we have wow. um we have a two-night stay for four so it could be a family of four at Rankin Ranch which is cool. a wonderful guest ranch in, out in uh, Walker Basin Caliente area um we have lots of wonderful baskets and also wine itself some really beautiful vintage bottles of wine for those wine connoisseurs who'd like to add to their <laughs> cellars and um but i think you know predominantly it's just going to be a wonderful evening and beautiful night uh, hopefully under the stars and i it, it, it'll be a wonderful time to come drink some wine be in our wonderful gardens and have food by kathy cretal catering oh, very nice so. and again all the donations whether they're donations uh, uh funds from the art because the artists they, they don't really get any of this money it all goes towards they make sure it goes all towards uh, the education program here at the at the Bakersfield Museum of Art uh, educating local kids with the arts the after-school programs supplies that sort of thing so it's for a great cause we really want to support the, the the local kids and, and encourage them to get involved with the arts programs here in Bakersfield so this is another way to do that uh, again if you want tickets Thursday night six to nine o'clock if you want tickets you can check out bmoa.org slash Winescapes. Tickets at the door are $50, but if you go online and get them, they're $40 or $75 per couple. It's going to be a great great night. Like Katie said, hopefully under the stars, come on out, get to wine on some on some uh, some great uh, uh, you know, wine, some eat some cheese and hopefully, you know, buy some art and maybe get a flight to Vegas. Josh, that's fantastic. A jet flight to Vegas. Come a jet on. flight to Vegas. <laughs> a <laughs> private a jet flight, flight to Vegas. Vegas. Richard Branson-esque. Um, <laughs> Josh, I think it's great. You know, Bakersfield does have this sort of vibrant arts community that I, th that I think sometimes might get overlooked. And it's events like this that really sort of bring it to the front line and the mainstream of things. This seems like a, a wonderful event. Yeah, it really does. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's something that people can get excited about, and especially, you know, I was talking with uh, uh, with Emily earlier. Emily was talking about how the kids really don't take this sort of thing for granted. She goes to the, these after-school programs, and they really get jazzed up. They really get excited to learn, uh, you know, how to how to do some of the, the some of the simplest things like making paintings that we take for granted. Like my painting earlier is is a joke. I mean. Who knows? Better than I, what I could do. She was she was giving me what she calls positive reinforcement earlier. Josh but, Merlot. Uh, <laughs> I like that title. <laughs> uh -huh. Josh Merlot. <laughs> Josh Merlot. I had to name it something, right? Very fast. But Josh you know, Merlot. I didn't. Ha obviously, I didn't have art classes when I was a kid. I know it's shocking. <laughs> I can't really tell. But uh, hopefully, if kids get you know inspired early and they do, they can do a lot of cool things with uh, with uh, the money raised. So you're right, Rob. Great program, Josh. You Hopefully got some, there's a good some turnout great on Thursday. Great desk night. decorations here too. Is that the uh, is that Josh Merlot? Is that the on the job vintage? Oh yeah, this is gonna go in my cubicle in the office for sure. Absolutely. So we can drink it then. That's good stuff. All right, Josh. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. All right. Can you do us oh, a quick you know. favor, by the way, and show us that painting when you get a chance to. <laughs> you want to see my painting, the one I made, yes, or the actual? Like, I feel like it looks like a Billy Madison painting. It's kind of, I like it, though. <laughs> I'll show it to you at the end of our shot. I'll see right, what I can do. Good. But yeah, we're here at the, uh, the Bakersfield Museum of Art where they're having a wine taste uh, slash a fundraiser type ordeal with wine-inspired art Thursday night from 6 to 9. And it's going to be a great event. It's for uh, local. It's for raising money for local kids and the local arts for uh, educational art programs, if you will. Uh, I am actually here with one of the artists, Art Sherwin, who's been involved with the BMOA for a long time. Art, this is one of your uh, wine-inspired pieces right here. Tell me all about it. Well, 
I wanted to do something different than drawing or painting this time, so this is called a lino cut. And it was actually uh, created off a piece of linoleum. No way. And uh, I, I started chopping away. You see Where'd the you white? get the linoleum? Your bathroom floor or what? <laughs> well, it's more of an artistic linoleum. Yeah. And uh, you chop away, and then I printed the lightest color, which in some cases is light blue here. And then I chopped away some more and printed the next uh, darkest color, and then eventually finished with the, the darkest color in the end. And uh, voila, it's uh, of a winery. And, and this is one of the pieces up for, for auction on Thursday, yes. Thursday night. Sure. Why should people come out? I know this is like this is the fifth or sixth year this fundraiser has been going on. Yeah. Okay. Well, the museum, uh, it's critical. This is one of the gems of the uh, entire city. And uh, without the, I have a, a saying, you know, that I heard someone else say many, many years ago that the sciences make life possible and the arts make life livable. And uh, this museum is critical to uh, some, uh, some good positive living and, uh, and especially with all the uh, cutbacks in the schools right, right, and the sure, arts. Sure. Man, people are taking advantage of this place. It's, it's absolutely important. And I, I have Vicki Cruz over here with me before we go over to her. This is actually one of her paintings we showed earlier last hour. She's, I didn't know curators. She's the curator here at BMOA. I didn't know they were actually crazy talented themselves. Vicki, yes. this is great. Thank you. Yeah, so this is another piece that will be up Thursday night? It will, yes. Awesome. Now, this is, was this brie cheese? Is that what it is? What is it? Um, it is brie. <laughs> it, there's three different cheeses. I actually went to Valentine and they were able to set up a beautiful cheese plate for me and that was my inspiration for, for this oil painting. Well, it's, it's awesome. Talk about the event on Thursday. It's going to be a fantastic night. We're going to be using our outdoor garden and four different wineries are going to be pouring some excellent wine. We have art inspired artwork here. Um, I mean, art inspired you know, pieces that are using uh, wine related themes. Um, we're going to have some really great hors d'oeuvres, um, a wonderful silent auction, some great items, and then like like Art was saying, you know, this is all to support the art education programs that we offer here, so it's going to be a fantastic event. The list of reasons you should come out, besides we have an artist here named Art <laughs> and a, the most talented curator I've ever seen, is because, you know, who doesn't love a, a glass of wine while you're looking at artwork? If you like art, you like wine and you like kids, it's like the trifecta right there. And check this out, you know, we, we were, I, I was trying, along with Emily, trying to paint the wine bottle with a glass earlier. Little did we know that while I'm looking at this wine glass, oh, look at that, it's totally fake. It's like a rubber deal. I thought that was hilarious. I'm, but um -ch. Anyway, Emily is a lot better artist than I. Rob, you wanted to see our art pieces? Here's Emily's. The art educator. Oh, I like that. And and in mine, right? I'll just lay them side by side. How about that? Josh, I really and, don't and think yours is that bad. <laughs> no, and I mean, before seriously. Your, your glass <laughs> lacks depth. And uh, Josh, that wine is 84% alcohol. That is like that is like absolute. <laughs> I, right? I was waiting for Illegal. you to see my. I was waiting for you to see my. Josh, huh? I was waiting for you to see my my moonshine wine right there. Mm. Yeah, 84 literally. was was a great year. I just I was a, my one of my favorite years. So you know I we just made these. it 84. I painted hey, the duck just blue because, because I'd it, never seen a blue duck. We'll try it. We'll but you know it. what? Yeah. What'll be 100% awesome is if you come out Thursday night, support the kids. Uh, again, 6 to 9 p.m. Thursday night. You can go to bmoa.org slash winescapes to get tickets. Uh, they're $40 in advance, $75 per couple, $50 at the door. Um, guys, again, all the money uh, that, gets, uh, that, that, that comes in from these uh, pieces of, great pieces of artwork or donations, or there's a great raffle that, uh, again, involves that private uh, flight to Vegas and a hotel stay, all of that goes towards educating the local kids in the art program here in Bakersfield so, so Josh, can't get I'll, any better than that Josh I can paint I'll be able to paint there too while enjoying a couple glasses of wine is that right it'll get very uh, abstract after you a you hours. could you could yeah it can, you could if you bring your own these, these are just simple watercolors I kind of made a little mess on the uh, on the table right here if you kind of see right here this is this is all me right that's the uh, Josh Bird area okay yeah I, they, this it looks like an eight-year-old but that's okay <laughs> you know again I was getting positive reinforcement and you'll get positive reinforcement too Rob if you I come on out and you know, do some little painting. I, I'll be very impressed if, if you can paint better than me. Uh, uh, yes, that's a, that's a challenge. Ooh, that is a challenge. Josh. That's a challenge. Joshy, I'm a pretty good artist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's a real challenge. We need to see. Hey, I love question the music. for you, Josh. The four <laughs> yeah. wineries, are they all from California? Where are they from? 
Any Massachusetts oh, vintage? The, 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 the wine that comes in? There are four wineries that will be represented there. Are they all oh, from California? Are, are, the, are the four wineries from California, Vicki? Um, they are. This is the wines that are, are listed Dude, here. Yeah. Um, we have some restaurants that will be there you go. Um, pouring, sagebrush, Rutherford, and um, Southern Wine and awesome. Spirits. So, right? so yes, some yes, Probably there you go. There too. Again, local, once again. Keeping All it right. local. Well, I will be there Thursday night. There's a good <laughs> chance I'll be there Thursday. Josh, I'm a decent artist. Josh. All right, we'll be the judge of let's that. Let's see what see what you got, stud. He didn't pick up on it, so normally we, uh, 